Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, today I have a bit of, well it's wax mail and it's um, a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Um, so I had an order come in from one of my favourite Australian brands, Maple and Wattle. Um, it's taken a couple, good couple of weeks to get here because the postal service at the moment in Australia is a nightmare but um, and a bit beaten up too but thankfully everything is intact. Now this order, there is some wax but there's a whole bunch of other stuff as well um, and I'm going to go through everything um, but I'll do the wax first. So if you just, because I don't, this isn't, I'm not going to turn this into a channel that's about more than just wax. I don't really do much bath and body or anything other than um, what I get from Maple and Waddles. So I'll go through the wax and then if if that's all you're here for you can tune out at that point and if you're keen to um hear about the other stuff that came um you can stay right through i guess to the end um so yeah i'll make a start so i pretty much got a couple of wax cookies and um which i'll start with and then some shot pots so first one um that i got was this uh sunshine champagne uh, I think I've had this before. So it's basically a champagne and fruits scent. Um, I pretty much threw it in because it was just looking really cute. Um, although it has been a tiny bit squished. It is a very squishy form of wax. But it also, this squishy wax of hers is probably the best throwing. I think I get the best throw of this stuff. So oh, very difficult to get out. So still cute even though he's a little bit squishy. Yeah, so this is very really kind of pretty um i get kind of a orange peach off it um in with that champagne but it's a very nice scent so um i've had that before not one i need to get in big quantities i don't think i really don't like these bags it's really hard it's pretty much impossible to get in australia um yeah see now i'm gonna have to take that um, the zip top bags that you guys, the zip top polypropylene bags that you guys get in the US. So, um, you can get zip pack, zip top, uh, polyethylene bags, but they're not great for wax. So, um, yeah, that's, so this is, you know, not her fault. All the vendors have to deal with, uh, these bags and then they, you know, they don't stick properly, but a piece of tape fixes that up. So Amalfi Coast remember the notes on this one um it's a very pretty wax cookie so this is in her firma wax you can kind of tell the difference so she uses she does some solid wax and she does some softer wax as well so i like that there's a bit of variety there um it all throws well but yeah the i think the soft wax is a bit uh performs a bit better um so very pretty this is quite nice it reminds me of a soap like it's got that kind of sharp salty see air but one that's really I feel like I had a hand soap or something that smelled very similar to that once upon a time so it's quite nice and then of course some more of my favorite not that I needed it tea and cakes um, her tea and cakes I mean it's the same scent everywhere but it's good it throws well it's you know a source of tea and cakes close to home not that it'll be available every restock but cute little heart that smells so good Uh, tea and cakes to me is like sometimes I pick up it's like an almond and orange cake so it's got a hint of citrus but it's not super citrusy um, and it is a it is quite a strong tea scent but it's definitely got a lot of cake to it compared to some of the blends so um, I really like it uh, so a few since a few of these shots I think most of these shots are new to me since actually so kismet was like an orange and patchouli um, I like her shot pots, even though they're probably not the best value because it's one melt and they're sort of $3 each, $3 Australian. Um, but I do like them to be able to try, um, to be able to try sort of a variety of different things. So this is definitely, I wasn't a hundred percent sure looking at the notes, whether this was a lush dupe or just similar to Karma, but that's pretty much Karma, which I love. So that's okay. Um, yeah, Lush Karma is one of my favourite Lush scents. Uh, Black Rose and Oud. So I've used this one before um, from other vendors. It is a single fragrance oil um, that is available in Australia. And it's just a beautiful, rich rose 
it's more rose than oud, um, but the oud is there, and it's almost like a potpourri kind of rich rose, so not powdery or anything. I really do enjoy black rose and oud. Big Bad Wolf. I can't remember what this one was. Apologies if the light I've realized is a bit of... Let me just re-angle. Just let me pause for a second. Okay, I don't think that fixed things that much, but whatever. Um, because it's daylight, I normally film at night, so there's a bit of whoa, a bit of light coming in from behind my little set box that I use. So I can't remember what Big Bad Wolf is. Um, what does that smell like? I'm getting like a maybe a blackberry but not quite it almost it reminds me of like a deep kind of wine like a red wine yeah I can't remember I'll have to look up what the notes are on that it smells good um, but yeah that's sort of I'm getting like a deep kind of cabernet or something like that uh, aquamarine and oak moss um, so this is I know that this is um, another scent oil it's available in Australia. It's a really nice aquatic oak mossy scent. It's very, very nice. Uh, gingham. So this is a BB a Bath and Body Works dupe. Um, so I've heard a lot of people talk about it. Oh, spilling stuff. Um, but I've never tried it before. So I got a couple of things in it. It's very nice. It's like a nice, uplifting, fresh peach kind of scent. That's really good. <clears throat> um, Moana. So, again, I can't remember what this one is. Um, this is the only thing with these shot pots. There's not a lot of detail on them, so it's sort of hard to... Like, she doesn't put the scent notes anywhere. So this is fruity. Like, tropical fruity. I think I'm getting pineapple off that one. That's good. Um, I do have a lot of shot. I do have to keep work, start working through at a faster rate on my shot pots with her. I've got quite a few in the drawers at the moment. I picked a few for this week. I am melting my way through a few shot pots this week. Uh, so seaside cotton. Okay, so that's quite nice. This smells pretty much exactly like you would think, like a very light kind of sea breeze, like not too heavy on the saltiness. I don't know if it's like a clean cotton, but it's definitely got like a, yeah, a fresh kind of clothes on the line sort of vibe without being too detergenty. So that's good. Last couple of shot pots. Um, Magic School Bus. This one was an odd blend, but I can't, again, can't remember the notes. I really should do a printout before I start my videos on what everything is. I think this one had like custard and fizziness. Like I remember it being a odd kind of blend. I think I like that. So I'm picking up, I think there's a bit of Fruit Loops in there. I'm picking up a bit of Fruit Loops. I'm definitely picking up some fizziness. And then that sort of lemonish custard scent that she does in things. I actually really like that. I actually think, I think I was a bit off put because of the cereal note because I don't like sort of Fruit Loops. But to me the fizzy, the fizzy kind of custard lemon is sort of taking over and I do I don't know why but fizzy and custard actually kind of go together reasonably well so that's a really good scent um and then the last one strawberry milk so this one's pretty much straightforward I think and that's actually not too bad it's like it is a strawberry milk scent but it's not so it's definitely more strawberry than milk if that makes sense it is kind of a candy-ish strawberry, but it's not too artificial. So that's okay. I actually kind of like that. Oh, that one was a bit of a gamble. Um, I just went, oh, I'll give it a go. But I thought maybe it had the potential to smell not great. Um, so that's it for the wax. Now I'm going to get into the products that I got that are not wax. So starting with this one, because we actually just haven't... This one's actually... We're sort of... Start again. We... Put this. My husband just did put this on the um, rug in the lounge room, and we, as soon as I'm finished this video, he'll give it a vac. Uh, so a carpet freshener in Bohemian Dreams. Um, so I haven't tried this product before, but that rank that rug is just smelling a bit manky at the moment. So Bohemian Dreams is like Bulgarian roses and vanilla and 
I get a slight citrusy touch off it as well. It's a really beautiful scent. Um, yeah, it's one of my favourites that she stocks. So hopefully that works well. Never tried that before. Um, one that I won't open, but I've got something else in the scent I can talk to. So bubbling bath salts in Bora Bora. I've used these before, so they are like a bath salt, like a um, magnesium, like an Epsom bath salt. Um, but they're really well scented and they do bubble quite well like they actually bubble as well as the um bubble bar or not as the d bubbles aren't quite as dense so they do pass off quickly but quicker but um they bubble a lot and obviously you get the really nice sort of benefits from a salt soak so the last packet i bought i used mostly for my son but i'm planning on using this for me um bora bora is a fantastic scent it's the same it's like a passion fruit acai tropical kind of scent um uh glitterati had a scent that was exactly the same like tropical blast or something um and it smelled exactly the same as bora bora so i think bora bora is an oil i'm pretty and i'm pretty sure i've seen it in the u.s as well as australia so i love bora bora is one of my favorite um tropical scents and it's one of those ones because she does rotate it into lots of products um i get bora bora in a lot of products so um looking forward to that so i also got um some foaming hand wash in Bora Bora as well. And yeah, it's it's got that sort of tart passion fruit scent, but it's not, you know, some some tart scent, some passion fruit scents kind of a almost nostril burning, but Bora Bora is just really really pleasant. Her foaming hand wash is um really good as well. So, um we've just obviously with the more hand washing that's happening at the moment, we've been using this our um foaming hand wash quite a bit um we just finished off a pink sugar one so i got two um of these although i will say we probably will go through the foaming hand wash a bit slower now um because i found that my son tends to wash his hands better if he uses the whipped soap because he finds it a bit more fun so we're actually starting to use whipped soap a lot for hand washing so also warm vanilla sugar which is pretty straightforward bbw dupe kind of hard to tell on smelling it like this but it's just a nice warm creamy kind of slightly slightly spicy not really um scent so that's nice too i thought you know nice to have something fairly basic uh also got a bath bomb i tend to throw in one she she restocks once per month um and i tend to throw in one bath bomb because that's about as many baths as i get i am hoping to get more have more you know now my son's um back at daycare but um i'll probably use that if i have more than one but i really like having one bath bomb around and i got it in that gingham scent so you know nice fresh peachy i like i tend to lean towards more kind of you know tropical uplifting scents in my bath that's just sort of a personal preference thing of mine um yeah so uh do, do so i'll go to the body spritzes now so i got two of those um so shoreline and kismet so shoreline is one of my all-time favorite scents of hers it's um lime ocean sprays and white musk i just spray it off i'm so glad she's done it in a body spray because this is one of the scents I really want to smell like all of the time. Um, it's just, it's, yeah, it's, her ocean spray scent is really, really nice. It's just uplifting and fresh without smelling like a sort of cleaning product, which I hate. Um, really, really nice. So happy to have some of that. And I've actually got a few more things in that scent. And then Kismet, which is, as I mentioned, that pretty much a Lush Karma dupe. Um, which was like a signature scent of mine for ages. So it'd be nice to be able to wear that occasionally again. I have a lot of body spritzers because I like to be able to wear a different scent each day. Here we go. Uh, marshmallow soap. So a new product. Now this is aqua, the aquamarine and oak moss. So the same as I've got a wax melt. So this is like a soft it's marshmallow soap. Um, they're very pretty. They're very cute. Oop. I sort of thought they'd like feel like a very light sponge or something, but they're a bit more dense than that. Um, so there we go. That's what that looks like. Very cute. It's that same really pretty oceanic oak moss scent. Very nice. Um, so we'll see. I don't know how long these soaps will sort of last in the bath. I was just curious. Um, 
to see because it's a new product of hers. I like to try them out, so we'll see how that one goes. Um, if I like it, I'll try and hide them for me. If not, um, you know, I'm sure my son will have fun with those. Ah, uh, what else? What else? Oh, so a couple of hand sanitizers. So she does do hand sanitizer, and it is of a decent alcohol level. I can't remember exactly what. I just know it's fine. Uh, so we've got a couple of bottles already, um, but we just wanted. To, we don't. We try to rely on hand washing, but you know these are handy, especially for my husband when he's out and about working. Um, so Kentucky Cowgirl, which is a scent I've had before. It's like a um, coconut bourbon type scent um really smooth vanillary really really nice so i'm just going to rub that in it's hard for me to talk about the scent just from doing it here because obviously it smells very strongly of alcohol right now but as that scent wears off um you find you, you just get that nice um you know the nice scent of whatever you put on um and this one so she's changed it because I think she was out of aloe vera gel. So the last ones I got were like a gel formula. Um, this one is just a liquid, so that's okay. Um, I'll give that one to my husband. Even though it's called Kentucky Cowgirl, I find it's a nice unisex scent. Like, it's just a smooth, vanilla -y bourbon. So really good. Uh, and then Black Cherry Merlot. Um, again, this is like a fragrance oil that's around. Um, yeah, there's no not much point in me sort of sniffing that right now. It smells like alcohol, but... Um, you know, it's the, some black cherry scents I can't deal with, and then some, the sweeter black cherries I really like, and this one's definitely on the sweeter black cherry side, so that one's good too. Uh, last few products, um, so I got, and this one's all wrapped up, so I should unwrap it. Um, so I, for the first, I've used, I've used her Argan hair oil before, and it's quite, it, it actually works really well at sort of smoothing out, um, my... Hair. I have very, um, I have a couple of different textures in my hair. So the top layers are a bit thinner, um, a bit more prone to going straight or sort of wavy straight. Um, and then the lower layers are very coarse. Um, and so the top layers tend to frizz. Um, and the bottom layers are much sort of, they've got like a natural kind of beach wave to them. So taming my hair, especially those top layers that get a bit fly away, is quite difficult. Um, so I like, um, this Argan air, hair oil. You put it in, um, when the hair's damp, I find it works really well. So I got some of this in Shoreline, um, so that same scent. And I also have decided to try this month, um, her shampoo and conditioner. So also in Shoreline, um, because Shoreline is one of my favorite scents. So, um, I've heard good things about her shampoo and conditioner before. It's been out for a while. Um, you know, I've run out and I've, I've had issues with the last few I've tried. So I thought, you know, what in ones that have been recommended to me. So I thought, what the hell, I might as well give hers a go. Uh, last two products, I got a couple of things for my son. So a couple of things of bubble bath. Uh, so this one is in rainbow sherbet. Um, do, do, do. Yep, so that's that really nice, fizzy, sweet, um, rain, classic rainbow sherbet scent and a uh, banana puddle pop so i've not tried this scent before it doesn't really matter to me what they smell like because my son doesn't really care he just likes colored liquid to pour in that gives him bubbles I had, it's been that long since i've had a banana puddle pop i don't really remember what they smell like but it definitely reminds me of like banana lollies or something so i'm sure that's legit um yeah, so that's it. That's my maple and wattle haul for this month. Um, lots of great stuff, and you'll often see her wax appear in my melts and empties and uh, wax picks. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks, as always, for watching, and I'll speak to you all soon again soon. Bye.